To all my peoples in the struggle, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, baby, baby. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hey, go on YouTube. This is Denny Gaming, also known as Cole here, and I am doing an unboxing and review. Today I will be unboxing the Kanakit Raspberry Pi 2 Complete Starter Kit. And I got this off, like, I got it off Amazon, so you'll have the links to it all in the description. So, let's begin. So, it comes in this thing right here. The boxing. I got an <clears throat> amazing steak knife as an unboxer. So, let's get this started here. Okay. So, this is basically my first unboxing I'll be doing. So... When we open the box up, that's what we see. We see the can of kit. Thank you for the purchase. Blah, blah, blah complete satisfaction, blah, 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 I don't know. <clears throat> I got this kit because I'm in Canada and it's really tough to get a Raspberry Pi anywhere. And this is the new Ma Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. The, a, uh, what is it, the 900 megahertz and the 1 gigabyte RAM. So it's a new Model B. So first thing in the box we see is the HDMI cord. This is probably what? three to five feet ish that is the tiny 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 heat sink that goes on the Raspberry Pi that is small like you look at pictures of these things and you think whatever they're okay but you never really realize how small the board is until one of the really main components of the board is that tiny put that to the side Next, what are we going to get out here? We'll get out the Kanakit 2.5 amp power supply for the Raspberry Pi. So it's an output of 5 volts, 2.5 amperes. And we're opening it up. As you can see, you got the power supply along with the micro USB cable that is attached to it. So that's what the Raspberry Pi is powered on, is a micro USB cable. We got my camera to steady there, so we'll put that to the side. Okay. Next we got is an installation video. I'm a pretty tech guy myself, but this is the video for that, apparently. Or wait a second. Black. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's actually the black case. For the Raspberry Pi. So, as you can see, it looks really, really good. Super nice case. It's got the ports there, got HDMI, etc., etc. Put that off to the side right here. 150 megabytes per second mini USB wireless adapter. So, if any of you guys know anything about the Raspberry Pi, anything from Pi 1 to Pi B, A, whatever. Model B, they're all Ethernet. None of them are wireless. You always have to get a wireless adapter. And this kit itself comes with the wireless adapter. So you're probably wondering, blah, 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 how much you paid for the kit. Well, Canadian, so I paid honestly $89.95 for this whole kit. And so far, we'll see what comes with it. There's the Canon kit Wi Fi. Like, you probably could have went cheaper ordering all, like, maybe everything separately. But I said, whatever. It's for a customer, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, we'll save the best for last. So, we got this. What is this? This is just kind of a promotion to their website, Canna Kit Electronics. It comes with Raspberry Pi, Ar Arduino, electric electronic kits. That's a GPIO header. Okay. We won't be doing much as this Raspberry Pi's purpose will be as a media center. So we got the Kanakit Raspberry Pi quick start guide just telling you what to do blah 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 okay shutting down the Raspberry Pi so yeah when we get this I do believe it comes with a pre-installed uh, micro SD card that's 8 gigabytes with the software noobs boom this is the actual Raspberry Pi itself this is the magic so we got the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B 1 gigabytes from element14.com. Six times faster. Make, learn, design. So, can I get there's another promotion? Note, 8 gigabyte SD card is inside. Okay. So we got a quad-core Broadcam 
BCM2836 CPU with one gigabyte of RAM, and we'll be putting the heatsink on top of the CPU in this video as well. Okay, next we got the 40 pin extended GPIO, we got the micro SD slot, the multiple ports, we got four USB ports, a full size HDMI, four pole stereo output and composite video port, CSI camera port, and DSI display port. Micro USB power source. That's what's in this kind of kit. Okay. Let's take a look at the actual board. What do we got in the box though? This is important note. So in this box here, it was the pre-programmed 8GB micro SD card may appear as 1GB when inserted. And that's just because everything uses a certain amount of storage when you're formatting hard drive. And there it is right there. Close this box up. Play it on the box. So, this is what is known as a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Got the camera to focus, so there's the heatsink right there. We got the GPIO right here. We got the four USBs. We got the Ethernet. We probably won't be using the Ethernet in this purpose because we have the wireless adapter, so we'll go on that. We got the HDMI, we got, I do believe, audio out and power. And then the micro SD slot right here, they're compatible, I don't know, I'm pretty sure what, up to 120 gigabytes. We got that. We've got the starter kits in here. Heat sink, micro USB. wireless adapter, power cable, the case itself, which I think a case really defines a Raspberry Pi, and this case is simple, sleek, nice color, my black's like, I know it's not a color or shade, but it's one of my favorite things to do with, okay, and this safety instructions on a Raspberry Pi, warnings, this product shall only be connected to an external power supply rated at 5 volt DC, key part right there. And a minimum current of 1.8 amps. So anything higher than that's all right. So you just want the minimum of 5 volt DC, like the max there, but the minimum of 1.8 amperes. Okay, next we will be installing the heatsink. Okay, guys, so how are you doing? So the next step we need to do now for a Raspberry Pi, and the can of kit here, comes with a heatsink. So we got to install the heatsink. So you have this clear little plastic part right here. You'll have to peel off. So that's that. We don't want the focus on here. Doesn't focus. Anyways, it has a sticky side on. You can put it on the main processor chip right here. Just so want to put it on here and you want to press. That ain't going anywhere. That is not going anywhere. So the heat sink is installed. Next up, we have the installation of the case. Okay, so we start with the bottom part of the case. It comes in a three piece bottom, middle, top. So you want to get the bottom. I'm going to grab the Raspberry Pi like this. You have the uh, HDMI and kind of like the audio out linings on the case which kind of match up with it so you just want to go here you want to slide it in like this and sorry when I should have mentioned but when applying the heat sink on you want to try and get it into the bottom right corner like that you want to try and angle it like that just because how this case was designed not gonna lie it was kind of poorly designed because as we can see we've already been having troubles but you want to plop the second part on I'm just gonna show you in a second the heatsink barely squeezes in there, like it touches almost the plastic, which isn't the hugest deal, but still not a huge fan of it myself. So that's it in the case. You have all the things showing. You have the GPIO header showing. We have the display access, the power in, the HDMI, the camera, and the audio video. Okay, so now the last step is to put the case on. 
black case, glossy black, obviously going to get dirty pretty easily. So that's what we got. And they have clips so you can't put it in the wrong way like I just tried. Okay, you want to lock it in right there, like so. Does it click in or what? Um, no it does not, it does not click in. So it has easy access plus optimal airflow in this case. So, that is the assembled Raspberry Pi in its case besides with the SD card because on that SD card actually has noobs and for this build I'm sorry guys I won't be using noobs on it I'll actually be using uh, operating system that's like an ex it's a it's a medium player called OSMC and we'll kick you off right there no that was bad okay 13 minutes in okay so yeah, I'm not actually using noobs for the operating system here, guys. Sorry about that. I did leave this SD card out right here for that main reason. And I also didn't put this in yet. But that was just an unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B from Canakit.com. This is just the complete starter kit. So it did include the Raspberry Pi, the case, the SD card is 8 gigabytes, so it's small, but... That's basically the minimum you need for a Raspberry Pi 2. And you got the HDMI cord, Wi-Fi adapter, power cord. And that is pretty much everything you need to know when purchasing a can of kit, kit from eBay or Amazon or however you want to get it from the actual can of kit website itself. So thanks for watching. I am Cole from Diddy Gaming and have a great day guys.